हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक इन इंजीनियरिंग एकेडमी कंप्यूटर साइंस के इस नए सीरीज में आप सभी का स्वागत है कंप्यूटर साइंस पेपर कोड 083 विद पाइथन क्लास 12 के इस सीरीज में मैं आपको कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल प्रोवाइड करूंगा फ्रॉम चैप्टर 1 टू चैप्टर एंड फ्रॉम टू सिग्नलस बिगिनिंग टू एंड तो चलिए सबसे पहले चैप्टर 1 रिवीजन टूर 1 की ओर चलते हैं और देखते हैं वीडियो को सबसे पहले हम बात करें पाइथन इंट्रोडक्शंस के बारे में कि व्हाट इज पाइथन तो पाइथन इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड इंटरप्रेटेड हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज एंड वेरी पावरफुल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड दिस लैंग्वेज वाज डेवलप्ड बाय कर्डो वैन रोसम इन 1991 इट्स अ वेरी यूजफुल लैंग्वेज नाउ इट इज बिकॉज़ यू नो द एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पाइथन फर्स्ट थिंग बिफोर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द पाइथन और एनीथिंग यू हैव यू मस्ट need to install the python on your computer and from where you will get this you will get is the python from the python.org website and you have to download the file from the uh, there like this here you have to type www.python.org and from this side you can download your file and here only you will get the options to download the file and after the downloading you have to install the file so this option is here from here you can download just click on the download options and this is the python 3.8.2 this is the latest version of python and this you have to download from here after downloading you will get a downloaded file and you have to double click there and you have to follow the instructions for the necessary instruction you have to follow for the downloading of file okay next after downloading now you have to come to know ke okay, uh, you install the file the working in python how you can work in python then normally you can work in python in two mode the one mode is called interactive mode and second mode is called script mode i'll just show you what is the interactive and script mode i'll start my python from here and look at this this is the python screen so in this you will see that okay, this is called interactive mode what is the meaning of the interact interactive mode interactive mode mode means if i'm writing here any instructions it will give the result means what the command you will give here you will get the output immediately just after giving the command this is called interactive mode means if i'm written here print hello it show me hello here also this is called interactive mode okay print hello print how are you how are you thanks print thanks for watching thanks for watching so in this way you can show the message will show okay so this is called interactive mode the another mode is called a script mode for the script mode you have to click on the file and you have to uh, click on the file and the select the new options and you will get a documents here this is the encrypt script mode a script mode where you will write the command like this i write the command and print a but it's not show the output after the printing so here you have to save your file so click on the save as and when you try to save your file it will save your file with the uh, just you have to select the folder where you want to save and now click on the save button like this i am saving this file as a test.py and after saving this file you have to click on the run and the option is there run module you click on the run module and you will get the output the output will shown in interactive mode so this is the script mode and this is the interactive mode okay so in this two mode you can work in a python move to the next slide okay what is this now now the first basic components of the python you have to learn and that is uh, you have to learn that is called tokens in python okay what is token every programming language because we know that ki python is a language it is a programming language so every programming language has their own tokens like if we are going to talk about the english english having their own token and that token is known as the english language is a parts of a speech in the same way your computer programming language is also having their token and that token is the smallest individual unit of the program and with the help of this token you can form the sentence you can form the instruction in that particular language like in english if you have to form the any sentence you required noun verb adjective okay these all things you are required their pronoun these all things in the same way 
to make the sentence make the instruction in a computer programming language you need a token there are different types of the token in python there are five types of the token keyword identifier literals operators and punctuator so keyword what is the meaning of the keyword keyword is a special and deserved word of a programming language it's having a special meaning there are some fixed set of the keywords which is available inside the language that you need to be used while you are giving the instructions in a program now i'll show you okay, which keywords and which uh, how many keywords are available in this python programming language so just i can show you i'll just write here i'll just write here a command import keyword import keyword and now i'm going to write here keyword dot kw list keyword list and bend that key these all are the python's keyword these all are the python keywords you can look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen ninety twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six yeah, almost thirty six keyword is available in a python this sum the keywords are always written in a small letter but there are three keywords is the special keyword here which always start with the capital letter like the false it is the boolean literal this is the true this is the boolean literals and none it is the special literals so this five k this three keywords Keywords are always written in a capital letter. Start with the capital letter. Otherwise, all other keywords are always written in a small letter. Okay, so that is the keyword. It's a use for the giving the command. So let's you will understand later on okay, how you will give the command. Identifier. Identifier means the way the thing through which you can identify, which help us in identifying something that is called identifier. The names given to the different parts of the program is called identifier. Like variable name, function name, class name, program name, module names, package names. So many times we have to use some name. We'll assign some word, some name we are going to give, and that is called identifier. Identifier. Well, while you are writing the identifier, you have to follow the some rules and regulations. Identifier does not allow any space in between that. Identifier does not allow any special symbol in that. Identifier uh, cannot start with the uh, special symbols. So these are the some things and cannot start with the digit also. These are the some rules you have to always remember while you are writing the name of the variable. I'll just show you some examples like this identifier. Suppose I'm writing here rate of interest i'm writing here rate of interest equal to 20 and the error message i'll get i'm writing here two rate is equal to 20 i'll get an error message i'm writing i will identify with the special symbol and percent rate 20 i'll get an error message so this means i'm not supposed to give an space i'm writing some special symbol rate dot interest is equal to 20 again i'll get an error message so these things you have to remember identifier cannot start with the digit identifier cannot start with the special symbol identifier cannot allow a dot symbol identifier does not allow a space in between them so these things like this if you want to write the identifier you can use a special symbol that is called underscore underscore is just like a special symbol that can you in that you can use for the giving the any identifier name okay this is the rate of interest is a variable here rate of interest is a variable and the value is given to the this so later we will understand about this don't worry so name given to the different parts of the program is called identifier now we are going to talk about the literals what is the literals actually whenever you create the variable you need to give some data items you have to give some values to the variables that is called literals so data items that have a fixed value called literals there are several types of the literals in python actually there are five four types of literals a string literal numeric literal boolean literals and non literal so a string literals if i'm going to talk about the string literals means the name written by you means i'm writing a variable name i'm giving a variable single character inside the single code this is the string literal how you come to know it is a string literal i'll just show you the type a it's showing that str means the value given to the a is the single character c is a string literal in a python if i'm going to give the name my name i'm writing here and z and uh, this types and again i'm going to show you type type of b this is again str this is the class str so and z is also string literal in a python you can enter the string uh, the, there are three types of the string and you can say two types of the string single line string and multi line string the another thing you can use the three different types of the codes to write the string in python triple codes uh, triple codes and 
look at this i have used the triple quotes here so you can you you can write the string in three different ways in python by using single quote by using double quote and by using triple quotes triple quotes having the one advantage that you can lie write multi line string if i'm going to print the c look at this it's print the c in a three different lines why while you are writing the triple quotes in, with the string and you are pressing the enter key it's using the slash n in place look at there just after v this is the slash n just after v this is the slash n and you must be know about this the slash n is known as the backspace special sequence character sequence okay and it's a, have a special meaning slash n means new line okay so that is the letter that is the string literals now we are going to talk about the integer literals if i'm going to write about 160 like this this is the integer literal how you come to know i'll just check the type of the i it's showing the integer literals look at here if i'm giving here f equal to 23.489 and now i'm going to check this class sorry not class i'm going to check the type of f and it's showing that it is a float literals okay there is a one more literal says suggest given support by the uh, pythons and that is the that is called complex literals yeah it's an error here because i have to use here j so now type of c i'm going to show you this is the complex literal so there are three types of the numeric literals in python integer integer float and complex normally this i we are using in a in a mathematical symbols in in a maths you if you have to write the complex number you have to use the i here but in a python you have to use the j here this is a real part and this is the imaginary part okay so if you write there print c so look the look at the output how it's a printing like this five plus six j in this way okay so it's having their imaginary and real parts later we will discuss about this okay the next is the boolean literal so what is the boolean literals in means in mean this if i'm going to write here b equal to b equal to true b equal to true so it's going to store a true value in a v now i'll show you the type of b so this is the boolean literal this is the boolean literals okay sometimes you require to be insert the true and false value and for that purpose we are using the boolean literal if i'm going to write the suppose i'm going to write the choice is equal to false choice equal to false i'm writing here and now i'm going to show you type of the choice type of the choice so what is this this is the boolean type okay and the last is the non-literal what is the meaning of the non-literal sometimes you are deciding the variable but you are not able to decide the any value th for that variable in that case you can use the none none means nothing no integer no float no double no boolean nothing no means nothing okay so i can use the variables without suppose you are suppose i'm writing here print d and i have not decided the any value for the d so it's an error message is going at name error d is not defined but i plan to use the d but before going to do i want to write something about the d so i'm going to give a value to the d is a none value so now d is having no value but now look at this it will show no error so none means nothing this is a okay so they are operators the diff next is the operators what is the meaning of operators operators trigger some computations or actions when applied on a variable whenever you are using the any operators you want to do some calculations you want to do some operations you need an operator like this 8 plus 9 so this is the add operator this is the arithmetic operator 8 divide by 3 what you are getting 2.66 8 flow division by 3 what you are getting in teaser 8 mod 3 what you are getting this is this 8 2 means 8 to the power uh, exponential this is the by new operator so 8 and double multiply 2 it's a 8 to the power 2 64 so these all are the operators that is used for the some purpose like this i'm writing here 8 greater than 6 what i'm getting boolean value 8 less than 6 what i'm getting this yes. 8 equal to 6 8 equal to 6 okay 8 not equal to 6 got it yeah 8 greater than equal to 6 yes 
sorry no need to give the space there so that is the problem so these all things are the an operator and operator always triggers some actions or operator always works on that to perform something okay whenever you need an operator you need some operand also this eight this six these are called operand for the operator because operator always required something to work upon that so that is called operator okay Move on the next uh, that is the punctuator. So what is the punctuator? Punctuator is also a very important component of a program that is used to organize the sentence, structures and expressions. Means while you are writing any expressions, you need to be organized this for that purpose we are using the structures. Like this, I am writing here, suppose 8 multiple divide 2 plus 3 so this is a simple operation so board mass rule is followed here now i'm going to organize this and i want to do first add then i want to do the divide so now look at this 8 divide 5 and what the output is there means i'm using this this the open parenthesis and close parenthesis means you can say that curly uh, curve brackets which you are using which we i'm using here this is this help us in making the expression in a proper way and this is called punctuator so there are different punctuators we are using single quote double quote has symbols slash <coughs> open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces at the rates commas semicolon colon apostrophe and equal to these all other punctuators which we are using i'll show this hash symbol is used for the comment purpose this is the comment this is the comment and it's will be not as cute so for today i'm going to over the class here only in the next video you will see something more interesting about the python so till time wait for the me thanks for the watching if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe it if you like this video please share this video and like this video Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.